Hello, my name's Debbie and I'm from Australia and I'm here today with my September 2022 cross stitch update. I got about half an hour into this video and yeah, just decided we would start it again because as usual I forgot the befores and afters of photos. I did make sure today that my I've got the eye candy in the background with Darcy because when he doesn't show up he gets a lot of comments so he I don't know how long he will stay because I moved him from a very nice warm spot in front of the fire to come and join us but we'll see how he goes. September um, didn't quite get the stitches I would have thought for a 31 day month but I think it is also because I am now going to the pool twice a week to a walk. Um, <laughs> I do swim, but um, to walk to strengthen the leg muscles. And I come home, have tea, and then I'm woken up at around, it, well, so far it's been once it was 3 a.m. The next time it was 5 a.m. saying, why don't you go to bed and at least get an hour in bed. But out cold, it knocks me around. Um, I mean, it's very enjoyable. I don't feel tired when I'm there, but the body feels the effect of it um, for the two days a week. But I'll keep persevering, and one would hope that it will get easier. Um, I had no starts in September, uh, one finish. And I worked on, I believe, 18... I didn't change my figures, which is interesting. I think it was 18, um, 18 projects. I haven't got them all here today because um, one, I think I actually showed you last month the work I did in this month. So we won't show that again. And the others were family projects. But I'll go straight to my finish. Ta -da! I have finished my sampler of stitches from the drawn thread. This was part of the SOS 2022 SOW started by Stitching Mummy. Mine is done on 28 count ice blue Zweigard linen using DMC conversion because I couldn't get the threads in time. And it was a bit difficult to do. The hardest part for me is I noticed on um, various other people's YouTubes is the bits and pieces, the charms and that came with the patterns. Well, they didn't come with those mine in Australia. And I got them from two different shops, the patterns. I had to go to two different places to get the full set. They aren't blanks there. They're just very light stitching. I did enjoy this. I learnt a lot of stitches and know which ones I like. I think the dragonfly and the heart are a fraction too big, so I haven't secured them too tightly and I'll keep looking. But trying to find some of these, sorry, some of these um, charms have been a bit difficult. That key, which is beautiful, I believe Nikolai, you from number 12 stitch co had that attached to some ribbon when you tied up one of the sets of fabric i bought and it was perfect so it's been relegated to this thing i'm not overly happy on the moon because it's cut out but again i've got about four or five different charm packs coming to see if i can improve those few um, one can only hope Here's the before and after. So basically, this came in a series of nine patterns, separate patterns, and I did one set a month. So A, B, C, one month, D, E, F, and so forth. So I had nine months and therefore finished in September. As I said, there's no starts to show you, so we'll go straight to the whips. First one I have, Stitch in Time, Amy Stewart, everyone knows it, everyone knows it, it's, oh there's some beautiful ones being shown today, bits and pieces, oh, 
I know I should I must look up the Instagram name she posted she's worked sort of maybe four or five pages right down the left hand side and it just looks fabulous and she posted that just before I came in I am doing this on I am doing this one over one on 32 count I have hit 14.19 percent I've completed a hundred and one thousand 235 stitches out of the 713,278 I'm currently working on that one and I did drop down and do the rows which is just beautiful but there is so much confetti in that I am trying to do a colour as I go I'm trying to finish the shelf at the same time I've been doing the top and bottom shelf on this row because they're in the same colour range. The next shelf I won't have, I only have the books and the, the vin vignettes because the following shelf, the top and the bottom again, the shelves are in the same colour range. It just means I only have to get the, the colours, that colour range out, you know, at the one time rather than pulling them out all the time because that, that top shelf is just a mass of confetti and those pink flowers they look so beautiful and I swear there's only one stitch of every pink you can possibly find in each of them but I will have to keep working on this one I only did about 3,000 odd stitches this month which is down to what I normally try and get done but I would like to try and get that vignette finished at the end of October but if I fall asleep that won't be happening before and after I haven't worked out how I don't know how big they're going to show on the TV or your tablets however you watch these but I've got to work out how to make them a little bit bigger again um, great software it means I can post it at the minute I'm finished it's just a few bits and pieces I've still got to sort out next Anzac Long dog, <laughs> long dogs, they are addictive. Liz, Liz from Campus Stitches told me they are addictive. I didn't believe her. I started with crossword and then this one and I think I'm, I've got four in this pile here today. This will be finished in October because I have it ready for two challenges on the Down Under Divas site or group which will finish that last section. This is done on dark green and I am using the thread is from Binky Dye called Camo. 40 count. And I am so looking forward to it. So looking forward to having it done. The only change I think I've mentioned several times is it had a, I think, welcome or something like that in New Zealand language and dialect and I changed it to Anzacs to match with the name. Before and after. Again, you can only just see that little bit because I did 500 and I turned it off because this project has been fantastic for the Down Under Divas group because um, it relates to Australia and that's what we're doing with in the group our stitching projects are going each state as we go around Australia so it's been fantastic so I got a bit carried away because normally I'll do the 500 and I'll keep type keep typing keep stitching for the night but I've had to slow off doing that because I needed to hang out as long as I could the next project is Atelier Angel this was off um, Etsy from Alina Koshkina. Love anything to do with fashion designing. It's going to show up very pale, but but as you can see, when you see the back stitching on the Cupid's face, and there is a lot of back stitch, it'll all pop. 
So I've come down to the mannequin. I think I used this for penalty stitches and the color was pink. So I just moved around doing all the pink colors. And like I said, once the back stitching's all in there, it's all gonna, it'll pop nicely. Um, I think this is, it's not antique. I think it's just country mocha, 40 count. But <laughs> before and after, as I said, it was a new staff last month. Or the month before. When did I start it? There's a new stuff in July, sorry. Um, and I hadn't done anything for tw quite a while, but used it, like I said, for a penalty. Penalty stitching. Um, it's the Down Under Divas. Next, from Fox and Rabbit Designs, it is Botany Bay Sampler. I fell in and I fell in love with this. I bought the material, I bought the threads, I bought everything. Um, started it more or less as soon as I got my hands on it. Um, but shine is off it just a tad, but that's only because of a little bit of controversy they've with, they've had on the actual pattern itself. There she is in the entirety. As you can see, I've got one more tree and there's a house in between those up the top there. There is another thistle and dragon. And then there's a pot of flowers in front of that. And, and I think it might be doable if I can get this to marry up with um, some challenges. I think it's doable in in October I would like it done this year I started like I said on the 16th of the 12th 19 2019 god damn 2019 it's been done on 36 count legacy from picture this plus with cord four threads for memory last month Oh, yes, I finished the alphabet across the top, all the rows of the alphabet, and came down. And I've done more trees, so I will sort of have it as a highlighted one, trying to get my brain into gear to try and queue it up for some. Try and queue it up for some challenges. Next one, celebrate, celebrate summer. Celebrate summer from. Madame Chantilly, a very pretty, pretty pattern, very pretty pattern. I was worried about this one, I hadn't done a lot. I got penalty stitches for 11 and then I think I used it for two more challenges. So the cup isn't filled in simply because I was, I counted up. If I pull across the picture. I came across the shelf, up the cup, up one of the leaves to get to the yellow, to use the yellow for penalty stitches. I then finished the rest of the leaves um, just to finish for the night. Then I used it for a challenge because it had a whale. So I went down and did the whale and then I used it for another challenge for the seagull. So I finished off the centers of the fab flowers and um, and the seagull and I think it's coming out really nice so really I'd like to at least get the top shelf done I have on spring tried to do each shelf as I work down but you know if I need it for a challenge I need it for a challenge next Oh, glare. This is from Mil Mirabilia. This is Christmas Elegance. It is, I don't know why you're shining. It's because it's a photo. There's not much I can do. Oh, there we go. 
It is really lovely. Really lovely. I've wanted to do this for ages and I think I got a fair bit done this month. I think there was green stitches. I had to do 2,000 stitches in green. Then I went up and finished um, some work in the blue presents and did some work in the Santa sack. And if I pop that across, it'll show it a bit better. So I think there's in the bottom, I don't know what it will be for yours, the big green area that I completed. There's only one more color green in there, the rest are beads and she has a lot of bling. The present area is now all finished except for all the bling. So I'm working on, I was working on, to get a bit ray for the green a bit, I decided to work on the Santa sack, but I like to do the biggest half of the Mirabilia's because when I did Ella years ago, I did her top first and then I had that massive dress to do and it just, you know, was mentally the brain was just saying you know you've got so much to do so now I like to complete the biggest part and work to the smallest part so you're always reducing of what's got to be done next one now I've got a note here for the next one the next one because I did say apparently on one of my um, videos that these were a free pattern and they're not they are the monthly teacups from the Vermilion Stitchery and I am currently working on the January one I did have a lovely subscriber tell me that um, this is one who missed Darcy so Darcy's here <laughs> but she also told us that um Donna Vermilion Gampia, um, when she passed away, her sister um, is selling the patterns on eBay. She mentions Amanda of the Lucky Chance Stitcher shared that she discovered that the sister was selling these um, patterns on eBay. And she says here that she found a sister's ID, ID on eBay it was Laurel54. Now, I haven't found that yet, but I'm wondering if my my settings are only... I, I usually try to stick to Australia because the postage is in, can be quite substantial if you go anywhere else. But I'll keep looking for that. But I don't know if... I think she... I don't know if she was English or American. I'm sorry, but um, I know I've checked the English one. I haven't found Laurel 56, so it might be on the... UK site for eBay so if you're looking for these patterns um, she did say this one was not currently listed but you could contact her and see if she had access to them I have done February I'm now doing January so I finished the bottom of the cup basically back stitch all of it's done the bottom of the cup Still looks funny that but they are I, I counted the thread they are on the same thread those two but the before and afters you can see well I've done the back stitching I can um because I've got the I think the top there might be the top ring of the cup to go yet and then all the flowers and again I'd like to get that one done so you know, another one Another one off the list. Get a few of them off the list. You don't want to see that yet. Next one. This is from Crickle Broad Crossing. Land of the Dead. It's a series, Gone to a Better Place series that she is currently doing. Um, I really, really fell in love with this one. I thought it was great. I'm doing this on Perman Linen. I believe it's called Silver Blue and I've only got a little bit to go. I've only got that island. I've only got all that green. I now have got it all stitched so I can just sort of sit there and stitch. 
um, I did have to pull out the brown in the or the bony color in the bones because I'd used the wrong color and it did look a lot better once I did it um, and there's a palm tree and a pirate's flag to go so it won't take long so it's another one it'll just be a cute little pillow I started that at down in Marupna for the Vic Stitches retreat and started on the 21st of May 2022 that's my before and after so uh, again I think it was a couple of one had had to have a skull there was another one talking about bones and another one for a blackbird so I did manage to get get some done on that project another one that will be definitely finished by the end of the year this is the mini boat boutique sampler from Jeanette Douglas this is a free pattern at the moment they will be taken away from her website as freebies once this sow is done so I only got three to go before and after just putting in September's next time I might have to make a point of zooming in on them I might actually do that next well I'll do that when it's finished and zoom into each of them because they are beautiful they are um I can do it here ha, ha, ha. I shouldn't have shown you before and after because I haven't shown you the project there it is this is on country mocha 40 count it's January February March April these were patterns she had for sale and she's just released them I love jeans with that glass bars I think that's so clever July August with the tomatoes September and there are three more to go I'm loving this it's delicate it's pretty it's just a beautiful thing a beautiful thing I've already shown you the before and after I quite get out of whack next one I worked on was from Park Hopper Bart the Robin Hood sampler this was on Gumtree I've, I've really really like this one I'm doing this on a it's called misty blue 40 count misty blue that is where I'm up to a lot of those greens a lot of greens in this I started this on the 3rd of July 2022 and before and after there's quite a big border quite a big border that border goes around and then in between each of that I think is a big white is it a white flower I think it is big white flower in between those four of those massive trees to go and then the foxes oodle laddie oodle laddie golly what a day I watched it the other night after talking about it in the August one I had to go and watch it again <laughs> I just love it okay another one I worked on was Sydney this is from this is from awesome pattern studio on Etsy and that is where I'm up to I'm doing this it is just on 28 white even weave I started on the 11th of April very colorful before and after so again what I'm trying to do is as I get a color out finishing that color all the way through next long dog number two tap dancers <laughs> of those bagpipes there's just everything in here 
Except a car. Now we couldn't find a car and I needed a car. Well, I'll work something out in the end. Very cute. I love it. You can just sort of sit there and just stitch. I am doing this on 36 count. Ice blue. We're using PR132 from Silks for You. It is quite unique. Chooks and rabbits and cats and fish and swimmers and you know bagpipes, <laughs> frogs, helicopters, planes, you know but it's in there. Um, I believe about here there's the red dot so I'm coming up to 50% I would say on this one. Before and after. As you can see, uh, these ones I do a lot of the um, 2,000 stitches. When I need 2,000 stitches, I'm quite happy if I can get this or you belong to me to work because I find it very easy stitching. Long dog number three is Templar Prophecy. This is the new year, new start. I didn't get finished. Yep. 2020. Of course, it was a bad year, but I still got a lot to go on this one. But again, I was a bit delayed with because of the change of the colours. I was using greys and with a dye lot, um, an ingredient no longer being able to be used, it changed the colours of the grey. So... It was put down for a while, I believe. I, whoops, hope that didn't bang in your ears. Working over there. I'm just trying to get up to an even spot up the top. I wanted to continue going up the variegated, nope, this is the variegated colour up here and going across the top. But I thought, what in the hell if I get up there and it isn't right and I was screamed. So I thought I'll work it on the way up. It is basically all the fancy, like all the new stuff. That was all PR161. And then the th other three greys were actually, you know, pulled from that, that um, the colour range. I held it against them. 318, 413, 218. And then with pops of red and black. I think I'm going to do the back stitch in the night in here. In black. Yeah, in black. He's got a lot of back stitches in him. The before and after. You can just see I worked on that side. Bringing it up. I think I had to do 500 stitches and I brought in, brought up some of, I worked up as high as I'm going in the PR151 before I change again and then I've moved over into the dark grey again to get the outline of the night so I can do the back stitching in there. Then, long dog number four, you belong to me. This, this is a favourite. This is going to get another 2,000 stitches this month. And I reckon it's going to bring it very close to a finish. Because under the donkey, there is a crocodile. And he's sitting on the bottom edge. So it probably goes to there. I was concerned, I'll show you what first, I worked down there because I had to work on religious icons, so I was working on those, and I'm just going to undo these, I was concerned because when I first had that issue in Pattern Keeper, I was a bit concerned I'd have to unpull all that and after stitching it all. I didn't want to unpull it all that. 
because I got all that done before I realised that there were columns missing until I worked out how to fix it. But I love it. This is being done using PR 070s from Silks for You. Like I said, there's just little icons all down the bottom. Not so little, but you know what I mean. These are not like those pyramids that took me forever. So I've got a fella in a boat. No, just a fellow kneeling in the scarab under the cat, the alligator under uh, under the donkey, and then on this side, on this side, eh, not much to go. So it may be, wouldn't that be nice if it was a finishing? Better have a look. <laughs> I hate to finish it in. I wouldn't hate it. If I finished it in um, October, I need to find out I had it queued to do 2,000 stitches in November. So they are all my whips that I can show you that I've worked on for the month. Oh, did I do before and after? I can't remember. There's the before and after. So I filled in to the left of the pyramids and came down picking bits and pieces I needed for the challenge. Sorry, that is being done on 38 count called Days Gone By from Silk Weavers. And I started this on the 21st of the 11th, 21, 2021. Okay. Um, I have had a few, no, a lot. I have had a few purchases, not a lot, she says, not a lot. First one, and all the, any of the details and the projects and everything I'll talk about, I'll try and put in the, the notes. This, I'll oh, hold up there. This is the details for Kuki's Handmade, and I will make sure it's downstairs. I bought them to show you. I've got some grime guards. <laughs> I just think they're gorgeous. Look at that pink fabric. So nicely made. So that's the 11 by 17 I got. And I think these were both 17 by 11 by 11, but it just shows you the different, you know, the two different ways you can do them. Beautiful blues, purples, the mermaids. She has um, quite a lot of items on her site. The stitching is beautiful. I know I'm fully capable of um, making my own, but when you do it for you, I don't know if you're the same, when you do it for yourself, you're not so, you're not so careful with on the inside. It's really nice to have beautifully made ones. So I couldn't help myself there and I had to get those. And like I said, it is Kuki's, Kuki's Handmaids. They are, she is in Australia, I believe. Yes, I think she is. Um, and I will have the links in that. I've got one sitting with my link paperwork there to make sure I do that. Uh, next, I've got some patterns of Etsy. I've been waiting for these these ones to come out. Mojo Stitches, her release for Expo in the library. I loved it the minute I saw it. Again, anything to do with books. Look at that border. It is really quite beautiful. I'll have to look and make sure I don't ruin it, but I'd like the grey cat. Have I still got a cat there? I do. I'd like the orange cat to be grey, but it just depends whether it's going to ruin the balance, if it ruins the balance. I did have a ginger cat. I had this bad habit of bringing... Well, my parents thought it was a bad habit. <laughs> if I'd find a cat, didn't care whose it was. If I found a cat, I'd carry it home. 
I bought a ginger cat home. That was so wild. And and I know when my dad <laughs> tried to get it out of the laundry where I put it in there, it actually um, scratched through one of his nails and it never grew back. Always had that cut running in it. So yeah, you might remember this one. Now this one, if you don't like spiders, just look away for a couple of seconds. I won't hold it up long. This is called Too Many Legs. And she's got some Australian spiders on that. And I thought that was just too cute. But I have a son that doesn't like too many legs. But I had to get it. Then, was it last Sunday? Sunday before? I got to go and have lunch with some stitchy friends in Middlecombe. We had a lovely time. There was only four of us. But, um... You know, there's, there's more of us, but we try and get dates, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. Now, I'm not sure if it was Kerry or Gail or Sharon, but one of them mentioned these. This. Done. This is from Doreen Jones. This is the Sunflower Pin Cushion Pot. Done basically the same as a Biscornu when it comes to sewing it up. It also has... A picture book. Oh, sorry, picture book. God, sewing pouch. Good lord. What time is it? Oh, it's only up past 11. I should still have a brain. And the scissor case and fob. Aren't they beautiful? I'm pretty sure all of us, that those of us that didn't have it, had it by the, within five minutes of being shown that one. I have another few ladies I stitch with occasionally and. We're going to have our own little sow. And it's going to be Wilbur from Teresa Coquit. Look at Wilbur. He's rather cute. I think we're starting him on the 1st of December. Because that was the day the movie Babe came out about the pig. I think. Um, I do believe I'm joining, excuse me for one second, I'm, I'm joining Kelly from Animal Stitches, oh I know the other name so well, oh come on you know her so well, you know the name, oh, it's going to annoy me. And other stitches we we are going to start and start late but we are going to start the haunted library sale and i think we're starting that on the 8th of october i have got my list sitting here to get my threads out um i think i showed you fabric last month that i don't know if i'm using the gray or the blue i really like the blue but i'm going to wait until i see the threads Okay, next, monthly threads from a Stitch in Time down in Tazzy. We've got M's, Mediterranean Sea, Mustard Seed, Old Brick, Orange Marmalade, Parchment and Pineapple Sherbet. And they are pretty much the colour. Weeks Dye Works. Be neat, be neat. These ones have a bit more trouble reading sometimes. Hazelnut. Hibiscus, holly, honeysuckle, hostia, and hot rug. And again, pretty much the colour. Some nice colours in those. Actually, some of the orange and the of almost similar range. Um, then classic colour works. L E goes to K. These are Auguses that got held up in customs, so I only got them this month. Lettuce leaf, licorice red, lighthouse, little little house brown. 
Lobster Claw and Little Pink Peony. They're right. Got my light right today for a change. Um, uh, I have to go this way. I've put them on backwards. Lemon Lime. Lemon Grass. Lavender Louise. Ladybug. La Tierra. And Khaki Mocha. It's a bit strange. It's not what I see as Khaki or Mocha. But it is a whitish colour that's got a little bit of brown staining through it. Then my silks from Colour Streamers. This month, that's the picture that they're matching it up to. Beautiful, beautiful pictures. And I think we've got it down, down right. They're all variegated this month. So we've got Aubergine Truffle. Come on. Budgie. Lily Pilly. Monet. Stormy. And Fire Dance is a chenille that you can use for finishing. So you get your five and then you get your free one. Beautiful, beautiful silks. That's an Australian company. The last thing I got, I did get an order from 123 Stitch. And, you know, I looked at this, didn't get it, looked at it, didn't get it. This is the Leeds House Sampler from Rosewood Manor. I have always liked it. I'm not a blue, blue green person, but every time I see it, I think, oh, I really do like that. And while I was there, and I'm not taking them out of the plastic, sorry, I actually got the Helix and all the threads to go with it. That, I, I am seriously, and I predict it will, that will be my New Year's new start. So, hooray, I'm organised. Also, I got the cutest little pin. A mini pin to go in one of the bits of gore news I've got going. Don't lose that. Then... As usual, when I'm there, I get three small samples of fabric just to see what it's like. This is tarnish. I've had tarnish before. That's 40 count tarnish. This is simply opalescent, I suppose, green. Emerald. Emerald opalescent. It's, that is the colour. So it's not a dark, dark emerald. And this is a piece of feldspar. And I have always liked feldspar. Always liked feldspar. It's a 40 count. And I might actually keep it. It may be too small, but it's a bit... You know, you just... I know it looks beautiful with the the other, but I think the blues would go nicely on that one too. So we can think about that at a later date. I've got a little while. I believe that is it. Hello, this is Debbie again because I missed out on a very important part I wanted to show. I've been holding this for a while. Back in May when I went to Marukna for the Vic Stitches retreat, I got in the exchange a beautiful stitch needle book. It's over here. The beautiful swan done by Diana Blyton. Absolutely beautiful. And in amongst her... In amongst that, she included a $25 gift voucher for a shop called Stitch in Sydney. Now, I don't get to Sydney terribly much, um, but I had the lovely Anne Hooks on Instagram was going up to see her son and she said, give me the 
give me the gift card and I'll do some shopping. And I'm pretty sure Diana, she spent your money and and probably more. She just smiles whenever she said it. But I'll just show you what she bought me. She got me some beautiful banding. 30 count banding. Because she knows I like to put those things on the drawers. It's a nice natural colour with a really nice plain edge. I'll put them in the bag as I go. I had them separate. And that's why they didn't catch my eye. I had it behind me. Beautiful grey ticking to use for finishing. So I'm going to have to lift my game and actually get some done. She also got me some beautiful red ticking. I mean, Anne's a good shopper. She bought me a finishing pack from Lady Dot Creates called Wicked and Spooky. It's got spooky little charms and various you know Halloweeny colour stuff to do some finishing and I've got quite a few little Halloween finishes um, that need to be done there's a beautiful butterfly pin and it is a pin it is lovely and then I'm pretty sure Anne bought these I'll show you the packaging first these are called Kohana scissors They are packaged so beautifully. They come with their own little leather pouch. And look at them. Aren't they the sweetest things you have ever seen? They are, they are tiny. I'm trying to find something to put behind them. I haven't got anything dark, but they are tiny and just beautiful tiny oops tiny little scissors just little snippy little scissors so thank you Anne I did thank you in person it was lovely to actually have two visits this time your way down and your way back I thoroughly enjoyed them um, and you got to meet my little grandsons which was nice too and thank you Diana um, I got as you can see some lovely stuff with your gift voucher so not only the surprise and delight of receiving it from Diana I also had a personal shopper who did, went above and beyond and I thank you both very much thank you very much bye I've got a few stats now for some reason I told you I had 62 whips even though it clearly said 32 last month but um, I bought 18 through from 2021 I have started 30 projects I have finished 17 and the current as of the end of September was 31 but I can tell you I'm, I'm up to 30 very pleased that I've got one of these one of the ones that had been sitting there too long done so end of September down to 31. Um, like I said, down a bit on my stitching, only got 29,000 odd stitches. I don't say that to um, if someone said to, I put them to shame. I'm not trying to shame anyone. I can tell you if my grandkids live closer, I wouldn't have stitches like that. I literally come home from work. Um, now I go swimming or walking. I do swim. Um, it has slowed it down but if I've got things to do I can do it but the other thing is a lot of my long dogs especially are one colour and you, you can get a lot of stitches done and with you know I'm empty nesters we haven't got little kids wanting attention I had them, had them on the weekend um, I did do some stitching while, while they were here because they were playing with some new toys they got um, they don't mind if they're here once they go to bed I can stitch but you know I'll, I'll put the stitching away to spend time with the, the kids and grandkids anytime or other go and meet friends for lunch but you know I, ju I just sit there and do it and usually I'm 
sitting there listening to a book or listening to a movie on the TV and I can get in five hours a night sometimes. I'm not good at sleeping, but I'm not good at waking up either at the other end. But I wish you all well. I hope you have a good month. I can't believe it's as close as it is to Christmas. I'll have to start looking for gifts and getting organised on, on that side of things. I actually don't think I'll have the grandkids this Christmas. I, I think they are going over to Western Australia to see their other grandparents, which they haven't seen them for a long time at Christmas um, because of the pandemic, because Western Australia was cut off a lot longer than the rest of the states in Australia. So, you know, there'll be extra time there. I can't believe my mate stayed. He does, he does look a bit scrunched, but he is very comfortable. But I can tell you, the minute I leave the room, he'll, he'll follow and come with me. He likes to hear you talk. <laughs> he likes to hear you talk. He's never far from... He's never far from away when he's in time anyway take care i'll see you next month have a great month